From the west coast of Scotland to the southwest of England, Devon is Britain's fourth largest county, and eight million of us drop in for a visit each year. I'm heading to Meldon, nestled next to the town of Oakhampton, a village that lies right on the edge of Dartmoor National Park. It's the largest area of wild land in the southwest of Britain, and it's renowned for its striking granite tours and wooded river valleys. But the southwest is also Britain's wild west, home to some of our last remaining real-life cowboys. Farmers who use horses to move their cattle across the moors to fresh grazing grounds. Taking part in these drives is a unique way to experience Dartmoor. And today, my guide is Phil Hurd. Phil, how are you doing? Well, Fancy finding you? you down here. Who's this? This is Ranger. Hello, Ranger. Is Ranger my going to be my horse? No, no. Ranger's the one I'm going to be riding today. OK. You're going to be on Hunter. Oh, hello, Hunter. Hello. Hunter's a little bit larger. Hello, Hunter. Hello. Hello. Hello, boy. Yeah, Hunter's good as Goldie is. So oh, wow. Beautiful. Hello. Hello. Are we going to be friends? Are you going to look after me? Yeah, you will. So uh, I obviously need to, uh, yeah. to look the pass a little bit more. Have you got some gear for me? Yep, yeah. got a bit of gear for you. Perfect. Make it look a little bit more authentic. I did the double denim. Yeah, I thought that excellent. was, you know, yeah. I was starting with that. A pair and, of boots uh, and a pair of chaps are for uh, you to fit, on, fit yourself out. I should put all of this on. Hunter, I'll be back in a moment. Don't go anywhere. I feel very comfortable up here. I don't know how much cattle driving you've done before, Ben. Cattle driving? I've been on a horse quite a few times. Cattle driving, I think this is probably the first. I need a cattle driving lesson before I'm let loose on the moors. So where do you want me to go, Phil? Uh, if you just want to go around the outside edge, yep. walk up behind those cattle, push them along that bottom fence into this corner to start with. OK. They're already looking at me, going, why is he wearing that funny hat? Walk towards them, push them all towards that corner. Make a few noises if you have to. That's good. Well done. Hey, I'm feeling a bit like a cowboy. This is about the right pace? That's right. They're walking, you're walking. Everything's good. How am I doing? Spot on. Come on, Hunter. We're a team now. Doing good, Ben. Phil and his family have 200 cows here. They still use horses because they're better suited to Dartmoor's tough terrain than any quad bike. Yeah, you got one there looking at you, and they yeah. ride towards that one. You're dominating that cow, see? There she go. Well done. Come on, girls. Yeah, you're doing good. Well done. So do you think I'm ready? Yeah, I think you're there. Let's get you on the moor. Driving cattle like this is a centuries-old tradition. Farmers like Phil and wife Mandy have special permission to graze their herds over thousands of acres of inhospitable moorland across the National Park. Phil needs to drive the cattle 10 miles. The journey will take two days, which means the three of us will need to camp overnight. You must enjoy this, being out in the open country. Yeah, fantastic, isn't it? A true Devon cowboy. That's right. You yep. look the part. It's, it's only when you open your mouth, Phil, and the West Country <laughs> accent comes out. Nothing um, wrong with the West Country no, accent. No, I, I love a West Country <laughs> accent. It, just, it doesn't sound quite so like John Wayne. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty herdy cattle out here, I'd imagine, to be living out on the moorland. Yeah, these are Welsh black cows. They make very good use of the rough grazing. They good in the wet and the cold. They got a bit of coat so that they can keep the, the rain off. They're only out here for the summer. What a great way to explore Dartmoor. Fantastic, isn't it? It's five hours into our ride, and we still have a mile or so to go before we reach our overnight location. I'm looking forward to those cowboy songs around the campfire. I'm getting to grips with life as a British cowboy near Meldon in Dartmoor National Park. I've joined farmers Phil and Mandy Hurd, who use horses and dogs to move their cattle across this tough landscape a dozen times a year. So you come out whatever the weather. Yeah, when the sun's shining, it makes it a lot easier than when it's raining. And I suppose horses are the original 4x4. Four four. Yeah, every Dartmoor farmer had his Dartmoor horse, and he used to go out and his stock, get the cattle and the sheep in. Do you still enjoy uh, coming out here, Phil? Yeah, I love it. It's great fun. Come out here 
on your own, a lot of space, nobody around. You, your horse, leather saddle creaking away, dogs shifting through cows. Put all your problems right, you can out here. How satisfying is that? Good so is job. This, this is where we're putting them for the night, is it? Yeah, they stay here for the night. Am I a proper Devon cowboy now? You are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> This experience really takes you back to a simpler life in days gone by and that connection between man, beast and an unforgiving landscape. Finally, we settle down to a cowboy campfire. Dartmoor is one of the few places in England that you can legally wild camp like this without getting the landowner's permission. How old were you when you went on your first horse? Well, I used to sit in front of me dad when I was about four or five years old on the, on the front of the saddle. So I can't really remember not being able to ride, to be fair. You take groups out, is that right? Yeah, about two or three times a week. Yeah, yeah, we take uh, riding guests out across Dartmoor. So they get to experience sort of what I did today. Yeah, yeah very much so. Including yeah. the, the rain and mist at the end of it? Yeah, yeah. we get sunshine, it's mostly sunshine. Yeah, always sunshine. <laughs> of, of course it's always sunshine. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. To a slightly damp evening. Yeah, cheers. Right, I'm tucked up in bed. It wouldn't be camping in the UK if we didn't have a little bit of rain. I like to think of it like the nighttime orchestra. Good night. Morning, Phil. Morning, Ben. How do you sleep? Good. Crack of morning. Nicer. Nicer morning than it was last night. It was a bit. Oh. But you must be very good with cold water. Oh, yes. Makes you very, very well. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I've got three sons. Three sons. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Fresh. After breakfast, we tack up, saddle up, and get the herd back on the move. There are just a couple of miles to go until we reach the fresh pastures. What a way to start the day. It strikes me that you really have this part of the world, Dartmoor, pulsing through your veins. Yeah, yeah, I do love Dartmoor. I, I love its challenges, I love its moods, I love its beautiful days. I also love its not so nice days. Rainy nights. Yeah, rainy nights. <laughs> Well, I yeah. tell you, those cattle have scarpered. Yeah, they've gone. They know where they're going. So this is it, is it? Yep, yeah, yep, they can stay here. So they're here till...? They can stay here till 1st of November. Lucky cattle. Enjoy, girls. Should we head for home? Yep. Yeah. Come on, Hunter. Come on, dogs. We need some cowboy music now, don't we? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> My cowboy cattle drive has been an unforgettable experience. It's been wonderful to enjoy Dartmoor in this old-fashioned way. But all over Britain, there are varied landscapes offering a host of horse-riding adventures. For first-timers, try a gentle hack on Anglesey in North Wales. For the more experienced, head for the Pennine Bridleway in the South Pennines. Or there's the New Forest in Hampshire for miles of horse-friendly trails.